With that down, let's move on to our third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Dylan, who writes, Hey, John and crew. Love the videos. Thank you so much, Dylan. Due to the end of Endgame, a lot of people thought that the Guardians would appear in Thor 4. I personally didn't think so. However, have you seen the clip of Vin Diesel saying in an interview for Bloodshot that he's met with Taika Waititi and has discussed the Guardians appearing in the movie? What are your thoughts? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Dylan. And what a lot of people were thinking at the end of Endgame, I got to admit, it wasn't a lot of people thinking that we were going to see Guardians in Thor 4. It was, we thought we were going to see Thor in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I mean, because when you see a game, you know how that movie ends. You know he's going off with the Guardians of the Galaxy. You just assume to see him there. So when they announced that Thor 4 was actually going to be coming out before Guardians 3, there was some speculation about whether or not we'd see the Guardians in there. That seemed to die down. Not a lot of people thought that was actually going to happen at that point. But then Vin Diesel, who was almost... Not quite as much, but almost as loose-lipped as Tom Holland himself. Uh, He was doing an interview, of course, for Bloodshot, and Vin Diesel said the following. I am waiting and excited for my friend James Gunn to knock this one, this next one out of the park. Talking, of course, I believe he's talking about uh, Suicide Squad. He took the Suicide Squad, so he's about to embark on it. Thor will also... The director talked to me about how Thor will incorporate some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That'll be very interesting. Nobody knows. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. So anyway, Vin Diesel seems to have dropped the ball and let everybody know that we are going to see at least some of the Guardians of the Galaxy in Thor 4. Now, whether that means we are going to see um, you know, Peter Quill, and we're going to see Gamora, we're going to see Drax, whether that means maybe we're just going to see, uh, maybe we're just going to see Rabbit, you know, maybe we're just going to see Rocket, maybe we're just going to see Groot. I'm sure if he's talking to Vin Diesel, Groot has to probably be one of the possibilities there for that. So I got to say, Rob, I had come to the point as a fan that I was just kind of assuming we weren't going to see the Guardians or any of the Guardians in Thor 4. Like, I knew that was a possibility before. I'd come to the point where I thought, okay, we're probably not, and then maybe in Guardians 3 we will. We, of course, talked the other day about how Chris Pratt made the comment of, oh, hey, why is everybody saying Thor's not going to be in Guardians 3? Who says he's not going to be in Guardians 3, right? So we know that's still on the table. I was a little bit surprised to hear these comments from Vin Diesel. Rob, do you think Vin Diesel is being honest or is he putting a little bit of game and ship in there? Do you expect us now to see guardians of the galaxy, either all of them or some of them in Thor four? And if so, how big of a role do you think there will be? And also, is it even a good idea to put some of the guardians into this new Thor movie? What do you think? Well, I think you have to, I, I, I if guardians is coming out first, I would suspect a la the beginning of guardians of the galaxy two, uh, with Th- Thor love and thunder, I bet there'll be the opening will be a big set piece with the Guardians and Thor, and then they will part ways at the end of that set piece, mm. and 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 so that then uh, uh, Thor will will go off on and do what he's going to do, and the Guardians will go off and do what they're going to do, and it it, it answers the question because look. Endgame was pretty definitive about how we left our heroes the last time we saw them, and it would rob the audience, I think, and and Marvel doesn't do this, uh, they're going to give the audience what they want. They're going to give us a big, I think, a big scene that's going to open the movie, kind of like we had Surtur opening um, uh, Ragnarok, Ragnarok. which was such a great, fun scene where we got the immigrant song and we got to see Thor just opening up the way we've wanted to see Thor open up. With his hammer, I mean, it was. I was. What a scene that was! It was funny. It was action packed. It kicked ass, and I, you know, Taika Waititi knows. He knows what's up, and I think that we're gonna get a a scene like that. It'll be spectacular. It'll be hilarious, and at the end of it, they will part ways, so Thor can go off on his adventures, and the Guardians of the Galaxy are free and unfettered from the constraints of a thunder god telling them what to do. Now. We got to keep in mind here, though, you know, we we can say, and I've said it myself, and you just said it too, that, well, you know, they have to do this because of the way the last movie ended, right? But the MCU is also the place 
where we ended an Iron Man movie with Tony Stark giving up being Iron Man and taking the arc reactor out. And then the very next movie, without any explanation, he's just still flying around as Iron Man, right? So it's not like, and, and they've done it other times as well. So it's not like they haven't done that before. It's not like they've, they've Kevin Feige has never felt tethered to having to show us what happens immediately next after the end of the previous movie. He's always yeah. been kind of taking the liberty to jump ahead. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? But it's too it's too juicy. It's too delicious. The audience I don't disagree. Wants, I don't you disagree. Know, I think they know. I think, look, I think Kevin Feige more than anybody. The reason, you know why these movies, I think, are as good as they are and as, as fun as they are, if you're a fan of the MCU and I am, it's because Kevin Feige is giving people what he wants to see. You know, I think ultimately the final arbiter of the MCU is Kevin Feige. He's like, well, that would kick ass. Let's do that. <laughs> you know, I mean, I really, I really believe that because he gets it. He knows. He knows what the audience wants. He is the proxy for all of us. As John Schnepp would say, Kevin Feige was, is probably the ultimate sweaty. He always was. He was a Star Trek fan, an MCU fan. Before there was the MCU, he loved the cinematic universe, the Marvel universe. He worked on 13 Marvel movies before the MCU. So he gets it. And he just thinks... Yeah, man, if I don't think it kicks ass, we're not going to do it. And I think that's the secret to the success of the whole MCU. And I think, you know, the reason why other franchises that we might love that are at other, say, the same studio, but run by other people, those people aren't the audience. They don't kick, they don't love this stuff. And if they're not the audience, they don't really understand. And I'm not saying that perhaps other executives aren't the audience necessarily, but they didn't grow up as fanboys the way Kevin Feige did. So when he makes the decision to make something kick ass, like having an awesome scene with the Guardians and Thor just opening up some whoop ass on wherever they're opening up whoop ass on, I mean, it's going to be great. Just like the beginning of Guardians 2, you had that great, I mean, Groot's dancing around while the other Guardians are taking on that giant monster and you've got you know Drax with his knife jumping inside the mouth, the maw of this thing and Which, cutting by his the way. way in all of Guardians 2, that was the only action scene for Drax the Destroyer. Just want to throw that out there. It was the, They you, had Drax destroyed, no action scenes in the rest of the movie. Can you imagine Thor and Drax cooperating, doing something like that? I mean, it could be dope. I want to see that, dude. And but here's Kevin the thing, Feige though. knows I want to see it. But here's the thing. This is the other kind of little thing. Am I interested in seeing a scene with the Guardians and Thor? Sure. But with the end, I believe this. The end of Endgame didn't leave us as the audience with a wet appetite for a Guardians and Thor scene. That Endgame left us with an appetite for a Thor and Guardians movie. That's what I wanted to see. Everybody was talking as Guardians of the Galaxy. We want to see because, look, the scenes that we've had with Thor and the Guardians have been gold. Whether it's he looks like oh, a yeah. pirate and an angel had a baby. We're talking about, then what else do I have to lose? Some of the best scenes in both Infinity War and Endgame came with Guardians. And, and I think there's, no doubt. yes, a scene would be good. A scene would be good. But I, I'm still sitting here kind of of the opinion that I want to see a movie of the As Guardians of the Galaxy. That's kind of what I want to see. But I'll take whatever they can give us, Rob. I'll take whatever they can give us. All right, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about this little revelation by Vin Diesel? Are you excited that we're going to see one, two, three, four Guardians of the Galaxy in Thor 4? If so, how many do you think are going to show up? How big of a role or small of a role do you think they're actually going to play? Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.